Yow! Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another edition. Fucking god damn it! Yow! What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to another edition of Extra Vision. I'm your host, X Dime. We got a lot of competitive news to get into today, as well as, you know, a couple other fun things to talk about. But uh, let's start right with the big news in North America. Uh, just the player transactions just went through like yesterday night. Uh, of course, while I'm filming this, what day it is and when this gets produced. But Clockwork just left Leviathan Gaming. Yes, of course, the LG that came in second place at I-46. Um, they also were the land winners. Well, this team, it is kind of an interesting factor. You know, the team was pretty much headed towards a breakup uh, until the ESCA land and they won. Uh, that kind of glued the team back together and definitely because of uh, I-46 and the proximity to I-46 and just the grandness of that event and our fundraiser for it, which we are still paying off. So xtv.chippin.com if you could still support auction news coming next week. Anyways. Um, the team kind of stuck together because of I-46. They did great at I-46, but maybe in Clockwork's opinion, not good enough as they were unable to uh, defeat Classic Mixup. So Clockwork uh, leaves for the Space Whales, sponsored by Zachrel, and um, that's a, a huge move. He's going to be paired up with YZ50, which is just insane. Um, we saw the Space Whales last week, uh, a game actually against Leviathan Gaming. It was uh, razor close, but actually, you know, perhaps one of the reasons why um, Leviathan Gaming was able to win that is because of their substitute, Bloodsire, who was in that scout position, and he held it down. Amazing pyro work, sniper work, um, gravel pit. It was awesome to watch. You really should check out the VODs. But uh, word is that Bloodsire is, is kind of just a, 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 a hold fast. He's, he's not going to be there permanently. He's still just going to be their backup. And Leviathan Gaming looking for another scout. They've had private conversations with some individuals, but no news yet. Maybe some other shakeups as well. Tough to say. With the Space Whales, um, Mezzer will be shifting back to Medic and uh, Clockwork uh, taking that scout spot. I, I guess Soup is stepping away. With that said, uh, let's take a look at around, uh, news around the world. In Europe, the Nations Cup has reached its uh, final stage by this point, by uh, uh, airtime. In the semifinals, England beat Denmark two maps to one. U.S. was playing Sweden. That was this last weekend after film date, but before airtime. So I can't tell you the results. You're going to have to go find out on VanillaTF2.org. They got the results there as well as VODs and articles of their coverage. The other side of the globe, uh, Asia Fortress is hosting their semi-annual league tournament, the Asia Fortress Cup Number no. 6. The tournament heads into the semi-final stage on September 16th with the top five Division I teams uh, still competing in four playoff spots. They have all taken maps off each other. The tightest season yet, grand final is going to be on the 30th. Div 2, Div 3 matches. Um, shout out to the teams uh, Banff, Lovely Sweet Dream, and Expendables, who have booked three out of those four places, while Kuso Scout plays Green Leaves for the final playoff spot. Check the links uh, down below for the current standings as well as a season preview. Then some fun facts for you guys. Fun fact number one, the nationalities represented are Australian, Korean, Japanese, Taiwanese, Malaysian, and Singaporean. Then, um, and that's from the top four teams. The second fun fact is on a previous extra vision, I had called out that lovely sweet dream were the winners of the a Asia Fortress uh, Cup number five. I called that out a couple days before they won. So you heard it here first, ladies and gentlemen. And now for letters to Robin. Dear Robin, I wanted to congratulate you and the rest of the Valve staff on the fantastic job you guys did with the second international. It, this was an amazing event. The coverage of it was fantastic. People could watch on Twitch, they could watch on OWN, they could watch through Dota TV client, they could watch from the free spectator client that you guys put out um, so that people who weren't in the beta could check things out. And the games were fantastic, the casters were fantastic, the uh, analysis from the uh, in-between game guys was fantastic. It was so slick and well-produced um, that I just want to give you guys a huge round of applause for it. Um, 
you know, curious if you guys considering other games to do this in, but definitely love what I saw. I'm looking forward to the next iteration, whatever it holds. Thanks, next time. Now for our item of the week. The item of the week is the Night of the Living Update 2. It is for Halloween and oh my god. I mean, you know, we pick collections, but this is like the collection of collections. Um, there's 27 items. There's some really kick-ass stuff. I don't want this segment to go on too long talking about all the stuff in there that is amazing. You're gonna have to check the link below and uh, check all those items out. I am gonna take the time to give a shout out to all of the creators involved in this huge co collection though. It is Sexy Robot, Boomsta, Batandi, Gerbil, Constructor, EMR Fish, Danger 21, Mexican, Psych, Multitrip, Nappy DeWise, and Gadgets. So big shout outs to those guys. Amazing work in that whole collection. Definitely hoping that it gets in a game for Halloween. You know, maybe not as much of a surprise for the community because since we can go up there, we can see what they all look like. But nonetheless, work uh, needs to be recognized, should be thrown in the game, and that frees up Val to do even more cool stuff of their own. Moving on, I uh, want to give another huge shout out, this time to Boulder, who won a Twitch.tv $10,000 college scholarship. Um, this is a, a, a huge, very cool effort uh, by Twitch TV. I mean, uh, I'd had conversations with Bumpasaurus X and saying, you know, hey man, like, it's so cool to be able to give back to uh, young kids who are, who are playing esports, playing video games, and going to college at the same time. Twitch.tv had this, um, you know, basically a contest, you know, for this scholarship. You had to put in an entry, and Boulder's one minute video entry was awesome. Um, he definitely deserves to win uh, after that entry, very well put together. I didn't look at some of the others, but nonetheless, very cool news, and definitely like Boulder really deserves it. He's a great guy. Check out his stream, which we've also linked down below. Uh, met him at ETS LAN, and he was a great dude, and we all felt bad when his car got broken into. Yeah, but congratulations on the scholarship, Boulder. Moving on, our community of the week. Our community of the week is Skyle. Say it how you want. It is spelled S-K-I-A-L. They have an insane amount of servers. LA, New York, Europe, Chicago, all sorts of gameplay types. They've been making positive strides on offering solid gaming experiences. It's always better when you don't fake it. They also sponsor two Highlander teams, On to Rocks and One Round Wonders for Europe. Uh, Kip came from there, and uh, they're definitely, you know, trying to help the TF2 public. And they also donated a prize for the i46 frag video contest. So big ups to them for that. XTV has some great events ahead of us. The hugest that I want to give a shout out to, because signups are still going on, is the EGO free for all frag fest craziness. Um, very cool event. They're playing for uh, uh, I-7. Um, there's some cash in there as well. And they are uh, got registration up for 500 players. Now, if you're curious, you're like, what is this, man? Free-for-all? Yeah, it is madness. Basically, um, they're going to start with 20 server, or with uh, servers with 20 people in them. And they're going to have as many servers as it takes. Um, then uh, that's going to be split into two teams randomly, 10 on 10. And the top half of the server from both teams moves forward to the next round. This is continued on and on as the numbers get whittled down and until it's just one-on-one -on -one MGE showdown, go to town. So uh, that's gonna be a very cool event. That's gonna be on September 22nd. Right now it looks like Kip and uh, uh, Kincho, a uh, newer streamer to us, but a great guy, are gonna be streaming it. Gets Jam will be on camera, so it's gonna be a, a great production. Then uh, we have uh, coming up sooner we have Leviathan Gaming versus Classic Mixup. That is going to be this Monday, 11:30 uh, p.m. Eastern. Definitely way late for your Europeans, but maybe you just get up early. Try that out. Um, and that's 8:30 p.m. Pacific. That is a huge match. It is a rematch of the first map from the I-46 Grand Finals. But we have to see, you know, um, what's LG going to do now that they don't have clockwork? Are they just really going to get the floor wiped with them? Or are they going to bring some fresh, some fresh play that will uh, lead them through? Um, I-46 finals was really close between them. 
Also, uh, UGC is starting up on um, Monday the 17th, so the next week. Definitely very excited about that. Um, I've been playing with Project X in the Silver Division with some good XTV friends. Probably going to be posting some scrim footage. And of course, with this season starting up, we'll be having uh, seeing some more from the Gunrunners as well. They are playing in the Platinum Division. Last event that I need to give a shout out to is the tf2.pug.na tournament. Um, a very cool system, very cool format for that, utilizing the captains. That's going into the upper bracket finals, and uh, we're going to be trying to cast that. Um, no promises. Aristotle's been hollering at us, though, and we definitely want to give him some love for us. So we're going to hope that we can get some uh, uh, cast scheduled. And uh, that just about does it. My final shout out for this episode, Luke is releasing a frag video called Merry Meat Shots. It's um, a bit of a sequel to Angry Fortress, and that's going to be on his YouTube, so make sure to go and check that out. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Axton. I will see you next time. Peace out! Peace out.